Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone with commentary which is not something I do all that often. It's been a while since I recorded the last video so I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to the controls for this game. I do apologize if I die more often than not and I can't actually remember where I left off on the story. Then these are things I probably should have checked before recording this video, I admit, uh, but I didn't, and I don't apologize. And that's pretty much all I have to say for this intro. Alright, let's get a move on. Let's go see Boozer. I'll uh, turn the mic off for cutscenes, I remember that much. Then I remembered what lo- ooh! I don't know about you, but, uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thanks, ma'am. He can't have visitors just yet, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I can, I can play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. Like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Right, what I was going to say was that I remembered how sort of notorious the loading times are for this game. So I was going to chat a bit, but you know, the game just sort of kicked me in the balls and was like, nope, load it up. Alright, I got Boozer's shotgun because he's not going to need it again. <sighs> Seems like he's uh, getting better. Locate Lynchman. Oh yeah, I forgot it was on survival mode. For God's sakes. What was I thinking? I'm probably not going to upload this until... Oh shit, I'm out of petrol. Right, let's go and fix that. Yeah, I'm not going to upload this until it's all done. Realised the time jump, but it's been like two, two weeks, week and a half since I played this last. Looking to buy, I hope. Just looking around. So I recently, shit, yeah? yeah, it's petrol. I'm a biker. Do the math. Um, yeah, I've been. Re right. I've recently like got my computer working again, so I've been doing stuff on. Re basically, realised common sense, really, but whatever. Wait um, a sec, I got it. That if I just transfer all the recordings I make on the PlayStation to my computer, I can upload like ten files in no time, which is what I've been doing. I have the entirety of my Division 2 playthrough uploaded. And that's without commentary if anyone's getting tired of my voice. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Uh, seem to recall parts of this. Like a bad dream. Can't quite remember what I was doing. Uh, which way? Uh -huh. <laughs> Still good. Oh shit, there he is! Oh, what are the chances? What a coincidence! The luck of this guy. Oh, the, the luck of me and the poor luck. How do I shoot? Cool. L1. Alright. And then I have to get close enough to fire because Deacon's got partial blindness in one eye or something. 
can only shoot someone if they're right in front of them. You don't carry much, do you? Just making this harder. Do I have nitro? Did I buy that? No. Like, what can I do about that, though? If I'm, if I'm empty, like, what? I, I must have to ram his bike. God damn it, Deacon. Why can't you carry more ammo? Carry a bag. You got a bag, haven't you? I think. I'm sure he carries a bag with him. No, oh my God. No. Uh. Yeah. God, I hope the mic's on. Can't really check at the moment. Uh, take that and that and a bit of this the hell is this bike like lined with Kevlar? Jesus oh he's going down the train tunnel smart in the apocalypse no trains Shoo. yeah take that motherfucker yeah Hey, and the mic Ooh, is on. How's it going, Lynch man? What is the camp not feeding you well enough? That doesn't sound good though. Fuck in the distance. There's oh, a horde nearby. Like. Guys right off with their shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe we'll just shoot you, you know. Instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, no. man, suit yourself. Yeah, now's not really the time to chat. I'm sure the freak freakers? Are they called freakers in this? Hey, God, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. I can fix this. Yeah, this is going to be an inconsistent playthrough. No, no, I didn't see him. Alright, we'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. Where am I going? See you, Lynch man. Don't mind me. Phantom Pain. Metal Gear Solid 5. The Phantom Pain. Said that Later. just uh, dropping a you know, name drop for a game in there. Fender. No real difference. One's wider than the other. Alright, paint. Ooh, that's nice. Eh, I don't care. Okay. Can't really get anything else, can I? And unlocked most of these. Sure. sure. All right. Where am I going? I'm going up to right. the Iron Mike, I assume. All right. What does the Iron Mike want? Time jump. 
I really, I would have liked it if instead of doing something like this, they just showed Deacon doing something, like leaning hey, up against the wall. I got a job for you. Whatever. You got a job for me. Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told North, me North, North, heading North. How about how if North. we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So, now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? I'm not helping Iron Mike seal the caves. Sealing the caves was my idea. And I told Iron Mike about it. Let's get that clear. Uh, okay, where are we going? Where is she going? Here. Oh, we're going to our bikes. Another cutscene. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no. We're doing this my way. Shit. Fine. Okay, let's go. My way, old highway. The other night. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. Didn't look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. Oh, well, that's clever thinking. Hygiene and all that. Plus someone else would just have to mop it up. So many cutscenes in this game. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> like that could have just been one long cutscene. Because all I did was walk from point A to point B and then just to point C. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. The time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I uh 
I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh... Roll out to the Addy. fallout, baby. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh... I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like... It. I don't know. Keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look. I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and I and Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? The Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what yeah, happened? he didn't really volunteer. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no, no, nothing happened. And no, I Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, Pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Another cutscene. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. My outflow is all Where are you good. Going? Down here. Don't know why he said that. Uh, all right, what are we doing? Clearing out the dam. Oh, that's freakers I hear. Oh yeah, she can oh, climb no, up no. on it. I can't. Yeah, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah. Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Um, hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Mm. You mean... Living right, here on, for like what two else. years? You're bound to have come down here. You didn't realize that was there in that state until now. All right, let's. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just follow it. This feels like one of those filler missions. Now I get to reacquaint myself with combat. Somewhat. Could make something. Probably gonna die a few times. Come here, touch this. Or not. Come on. No combat, it seems. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. I'm almost sure we've established by now the dam's not working. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. I swear to God, if she tells See, me the dam's not working again. The pen stuff. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? 
I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. I'm sure you could have jumped in. Oh, but like, you can stand and watch. You could have jumped in, full kit. Give your clothes a wash. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Bunch of freakers in the water. She gets eaten. And we don't see her again. Yeah! It's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. Or it could be that I was just thinking of The Walking Dead. Because that's probably a death that would happen in The Walking Dead. I mean, the people in that show don't really have common sense. Because most of the walkers just kind of creep up on them. Despite the fact that they mourn really loudly. Like, if, like, take one of these freakers. They couldn't creep up on you. They make too much noise. Like a walker does. But in that show, we still got people, like, screaming and jumping. Because a walker jumps them out of nowhere. Ah, oh, well, enough of my complaining about a different show. And different subject, game, topic, or whatever. Alright, return to Ricky. No point in running down here. Just put my hand against something. There's a lot of just like go to point A and point B in this mission so far. I'm sure there are bad guys do come though. Do arrive at some point. That vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, well it couldn't be that easy, right? Alright, come on, let's do Correct. Check out the so uh <laughs> your dad and your brothers, what happened? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Hmm. But these are the ones feeding the lines myself. I any idea what's wrong with them. No, not a clue. Okay. Ooh, what the hell? That was weird. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Alright. Alright, back down. Oh, where are we going? So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping oh, Tom. Hang on. Be right back. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. 
Jesus. All you know, right. if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. Yeah. Okay, got it. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Right behind you. Oh, God, what is that smell? Frankerness. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. I haven't bought any ammo, so that gun's actually empty. Any more tops you got with you? Enough. Okay. Or it should be. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Yeah, it is empty. Can I make more? Yeah, I can. Cool. Here they come! Ready. Bam. Oh yeah. Another bounty. It's over. Another one, next up, where is it? Uh, I can't tell. No, that's not. That's a rusted wall or something. I don't, know. I don't know what that is. Hello? Ah, there we go. Bird's nest. Ah, she threw a Molotov. That's cool. Whoa! You're not even coming over the, the, the entrance. Visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The heart of the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, 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 you're gonna be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deke. Come on. So, Return to your bike with the brigade. My, dad, my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, uh, he never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky. Not now. You can ask me later. Let me guess. Rippers hey, turn up or something? Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> do you come on? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was gonna bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> You thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did. And you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please.
This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, I'm not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. Can I try that again? Why do people in this game always try to reason with psychopaths? Stay put. Keep your head down. Oh, oh, oh come my ammo so situation is also a fucking dire. Hey, got me. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. What happened there? They must have gone around, I assume. Or something. May I shot everyone who was running straight at us. So, yeah. They must have gone around. Hey, I can take care of myself. Why keep loading me up to the gun that has no ammo? Ah, there he is. Far north, aren't you? Well, you don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Oh, we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? Straight to hell! Oh yeah, nice and blue down there for you, huh? That was a... That was a head... That, that first shot was a headshot. Ah, for growing up loud. Okay, uh, shotgun time. Did I even pick up... Oh, there was a shotgun there, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh no, it's a triangle. That's a Get low. I got no ammo. Oh, okay, this isn't a great situation to be in. Roll away. You've got to be shitting me. Uh, this is going to be fun. This might be the rest of this video. Just me trying to get out of this. I was point blank. I should have killed him straight away. Shotgun mate, if you don't mind. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Alright, the shock, uh, the combat in this game is, uh, you know, either here or there, but when it's here, it's fun. I'm not, like, running out of ammo every five minutes. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Oh, for God's sakes. Well, don't stand in the fire. God, even I know not to do that. Oh yeah, headshot. Wasn't anywhere near him. Physics I like these grenades. Hey, did that kill him? No, what the hell? Someone had his breakfast this morning. Oh god. Nope, nope, bang got it. Burn you, son of a bitch. I'll take this. Okay. Alright, I swear now, if these guys kill me, I'm gonna be so pissed. I think that's the last of them. Up on. No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. 
You think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa. What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers That's before just you nonsense. stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I guess it doesn't even mean anything. I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. She literally just handed me Come a bit on. of smudge cardboard. Either that or texturing this isn't working properly. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. Someone that I used to know. Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns? Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humpy was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh, Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack, and uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press, thats what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack? I remember who's are talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Well, that conversation ended abruptly. Oh shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay. But I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Is it that they bathe? Can I or ask you something? God, like hobby? I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant were colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just, cut, that's who I am. Done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well, let's just say that it's one of the few things that I. Hey, cut you off. Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this.
it's clocking off time at the lumber mill. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Maybe they all just worked there in life. Maybe. Maybe it was just a big, you know, busy place. A lot of people doing a lot of shifts, and they all just went there in freaker mode. I don't know, I'm talking shit. Let's go. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh... How did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times, all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. I shoot on sight. Nothing wrong with that. It's just the type of world we live in, lady. It is the apocalypse. End of times, you know. If you see someone, it's probably safest to shoot first. And that was that. If the cutscene ever loads. One of these days, I'm going to time hey. loading times. Where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you too. Yeah, well, Skizzle said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon. Thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no. no. What is your problem? I just said, I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Yes, that was some really good dialogue right there. What's your problem? No, what's your problem? No, what, no, what, what's your problem? Uh, uh, cool. Got some more trust in nine mics. Uh, credits. Still level one though. Uh, 63%. 50. 58. 6. Whatever. So, uh, a couple months ago we were up by crazy. Moments of lucidity. What the? Where the hell am I going? Ah, look at that. Another fucking research team. Alright, I'll drive there in the spare, you know, between videos. Uh, thank you all for watching. I should be making some decent progress on this, so the rest of the playthrough will be available right after this. I'm probably not gonna do the whole put them up, put them up one video at a time, like one day or whatever. One video a day. I'll probably just put them up in like five or six videos each day or whatever. Um... Oh yeah, thank you all for watching. Please check the description down below for a link to my Twitch profile. Because uh, I live stream PUBG and whatnot. Uh, please leave a like. Uh, drop a comment down below. Good, bad, your choice. I'll like it probably in reply. And hit that subscribe button to keep up to date and show me some support. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.